morning and welcome to House Judiciary Committee. Uh, this might be our last meeting. However, uh, let's keep ourselves open during the day in case we do need to meet to respond to something. Um, right now, um, we are taking action on um, what the Senate sent us back on S-119. Uh, so they concurred with a further instance of amendment. Um, I, I'll get the calendar page in a minute, but they went back to our effective date. And that is that is the only change. Um, during their committee discussion, they um, uh, they realized and, and really um, it was actually originally a, a Benning, um, Senator Benning's um, amendment uh, to push back and go back to our effective date. So that way law enforcement has the time to uh, roll out the policies do the planning, do the training um, that they need. It also gives us time um, to come back coupled with a report. Uh, so especially given that that was in our our bill that went over, I, I certainly would welcome a, a motion to concur. Our options would be um, concur, uh, I think committee of conference. I don't know if we can concur with further proposal of amendment at this point. Uh, but again, uh, I would entertain a motion to concur and then, um, and certainly discussion. Uh, Tom, oh. Salia, okay. Uh, no, I'll, I'll just, I'll wait for the discussion. Okay, so we have a- uh, I'll make a motion that we concur. Okay, so, um, so Salia, second. you want a second? Okay, great. Um, okay, so, uh, Discussion. What was the thing? Remind me, please. Sorry, Tom. All right. Go I'm ahead, sorry. Ken. Go ahead, Ken. I didn't hear you. I'm, I'm sorry. What was the, the, the date that it, they've gone back to? Um, it was July, right? July 1. Yeah, July yeah. on page yeah. 5933 of today's uh, calendar. Great. Thank you. And what the initial date was January. Account? I'm hearing two people. I'm sorry. What did we have in there? January. January. And now it's pushed. Well, and now well, it's pushed. Yeah, originally we had July, right. and then we went back to January after <laughs> after speaking with members of the other body, and um, and now they've gone back to to July. So good. Thank you. Okay, um, so Tom and then Nader. Thank you. Um, the, uh, I gotta believe I know what uh, uh, Department of Public Safety thought of the, the amendment, but I don't, did they take testimony from them? Do you know? I, I would guess that they, uh, I, I know they don't like the bill, but I would guess that they probably would agree with the amendment. I mean, it is in a sense favorable to the work they have to do. So I, I can't speak for Department of Public Safety. I know no. on the commissioner was there it's on Wednesday when um, uh, when Bryn did the walkthrough of what we voted. So uh, so he did he did weigh he did weigh in, but I can't I can't say what he said. Yeah. Yeah. On, on this specific um, on this specific amendment. Um, so. Uh, Nader, are, are you are you all set, Tom? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Nader. Yeah, um, just wanted to say I think this sounds good. I think that you know we we've heard a few concerns both in committee and then we heard it on the floor too regarding um, timelines. And I think that this uh, I think that this is a good amendment. So I'll be supporting it. Great. I do see that we have. Bryn here, and I, as counsel, if well, I'm talking slowly, so <laughs> if she's available, she can come on. Just want to make sure. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So, Bryn, I just wanted to um, to give you an opportunity to to add anything if um, if you think it would be would be helpful. Um, I think that you summarized it really well. <clears throat> Sorry, for the record, Bryn here from Legislative Council. 
Um, the Senate committee did hear a uh, walkthrough of the bill as it was voted out of the House. And um, there were members of that committee that did acknowledge that they had initially um, spoken with members of this committee about moving the date. If you remember, your original date was July 1st. Um, and they, I think, expressed to members of this committee that they wanted that to be moved up to January. Um, but Senator Benning raised um, the point that because the standards as they were set forth would require some new training on the, um, on the part of law enforcement, that it would make sense to give them some additional time to incorporate um, the standards into their training. And um, he proposed that as an amendment. And I think as, as this committee knows, the, the vote in the Senate committee was split three to two. So um, my understanding is that in order to secure that third um, vote for the, for the bill, um, they proposed that as an amendment to move the date back to July. But there was an acknowledgement that some members of that committee were the initial proposers of moving the date forward to January. Right, and I believe they took two votes. I think correct. I think the first they one. Did. The first the one was, was five to zero on the amendment um, to to move the amendment to the floor. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Bryn. Appreciate that. Any questions for Bryn? Any other discussion? Uh, Tom. Me again. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to say that, um, I mean, it's no secret what I feel about this bill. And, and even though I do feel this makes it a, a, a little bit better, uh, I'm, I'm not interested in making, in my opinion, a, a bad bill better. So I, I just want to put it out there right off that I'll be a no. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, my understanding is that um, the commissioner did send a, another email with some proposed changes, and, and one of them was actually the changing, um, what was it, um, instantly to immediately, which, which we had already done. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Any other discussion? Again, people just jump in if I'm not seeing your hands quick enough. I'm not, I'm not seeing anybody. Um, but, okay, so not are you here? Yeah, there you are. Yep, I'm Great. here. Thank uh, you. Let me Clerk just shall. pull up the document. Can I, can I just ask a quick question, please? Yeah, sure, sure. Just to make sure I got this right. So the date originally, what got sent to the Senate was January 1st and now to buy more time to do proper training and all this stuff, the Senate wants it pushed back to July 1st of next year, correct? So yes and no, so, so, so when we sent it to the Senate, it was actually January, but it was, um, it was based on conversations um, with the, um, with the Senate Judiciary, members of the Senate Judiciary Committee. However, our, where we landed, and, I, and certainly my preference, was the, was the um, July 21, 2021 for the reasons that, that Senator Benning and, and we stated. So, so it, was, it was July in here, then we switched it to January, went to the Senate, and they switched it back to, to July. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, well, you so I'm going to vote in favor of that because I think they uh, need more time to get set up, even though obviously I'm not crazy about the bill, but I'm just, again, showing that I'm willing to work with people. Thank you. So I appreciate that. So I want to make sure you, so the, the question is whether or not to concur. So we're not we're not voting, we're not taking two votes like the Senate did on that particular amendment. We're voting whether or not to concur. So, Ken, I just wanna make sure you understand that. <laughs> um, and if you wanna take a minute. Uh, I, I mean, I welcome your vote, <laughs> but. What does that mean? What's the difference? So, Help me, Bren, please. Yeah. Let, let, yeah. 
Brenner, is this something that you can? Sure. Okay, answer. Okay, thank you. So um, essentially your vote would be on the entire bill. So you would be there, the Senate vote was to concur with the House bill with proposal of further amendment, which was just that single amendment of moving the date back. So your concurrence, your vote would be to concur with the Senate's uh, proposal, which was to concur with the House version with that one change. So you'd be, your, your vote is on the entire bill, not just the one change by the Senate. Okay, so thank you very much. And I wanna be, I wanna be perfectly clear here, Maxine. I appreciate you alerting, alerting me to that. Uh, that means the trust level, that means a lot to me. Um, Bryn, your expertise in getting me back on track. I appreciate that too, thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you. And I see uh, Patrick just joined us. I just want to make sure Patrick knows where we are. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. Sure. I had to get from a, a meeting. No worries. So I have my tie on. Okay. How's breakfast? <laughs> Not breakfast. So, so Patrick, uh, we have a motion and a second to concur with the uh, Senate's uh, instance of amendment. Uh, it's 119. Are you familiar with what they sent back to us? Yeah. Okay. All right. And, yeah. um, and we are in discussion. So um, before I call the vote, I just want to give you the opportunity to, to weigh in if, if you want to. You don't have to. I just, like, I, just um, I just see you're here, so I don't. I don't think I additional add. Uh, again, I, I, I appreciate the intentions of of almost all of the work that we do in in judiciary. Uh, but at the end of the day, someone that I rely on very heavily in the legislature for their judicial opinion has. Um, persuaded me that this may not be up to the standard that he would say. So with that, I'm, I'm going to vote no, but I do appreciate the, the intentions of, of the bill. Okay, great. All right, well, thank you everybody. So then Nader, the clerk shall commence to call the roll. All right, Christy. Yes. Colburn. Yes. Ghostland. No. Hashim, yes. Not? Yes. Rachelson, are we leaving it open for her, did you say? Yeah, I'm letting her know now that we're okay. that we're voting. And Seymour? No. Tully? Yes. Beloned? Martin, you were muted. One last time, hopefully, this session of forgetting to <laughs> unmute myself. Yes. Heard it? No. Grad? Uh, yes. Okay. And who was the uh, first and the second again? Uh, Coach and <laughs> Selena. Coach. Selena. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um. So yeah, let's let's hold it open uh, for for Barbara. Certainly, if we um we go to the floor, if we're if we're, we don't have her, her vote, then we'll just report her as, as missing, as absent. M Madam Chair? Yes. Um, uh, sorry for being disjointed, and, and I apologize for missing yesterday. Um, <clears throat> but we had a Human Rights Commission uh, meeting and a number of hearings uh, that we had to uh, address. Um, I, I just wanted to share, you know, with the committee that, you know, I do understand, you know, the different positions that my fellow members, you know, are taking. Um, and this doesn't change, you know, my uh, relationship with any of you. <laughs> um, I spent a lot of time uh, talking with uh, Senator Benning, um, you know, about the, uh, the bill. Um, and um, it was an interesting, you know, like discussion uh, with with him. 
uh, and uh, it it's the work we do, you know, is is always challenging, you know, and that that I know, and you know, the longer you do it, the better you understand, you know, how difficult you know this is. Uh, but I did wanted to just share that I have not changed my uh, feelings about any of my fellow committee members, uh, regardless of, you know, how we uh, end up at the end of the day. So thank you all for everything you do, because I know you care about Vermont. And that's the bottom line. Just needed to say that. Thank you. Coach, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate. Can I say something. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. That's that was very well put, and I know that puts Burdick's mind at ease because he was losing sleep on it. I never had any doubt. <laughs> okay. Um, so Barbara is going to sign on quickly to vote. Let me uh, let me tell her. That yeah, good. Okay. So we can just just wait a minute for her. And uh, yeah, so if for some reason we have to meet for some text folks or send an email or I guess just check your various devices and accounts and <laughs> so and While we're waiting for Barbara, we didn't get a chance to thank you, Maxine and Tom and Martin yesterday as our um, committee leadership, but I wanted to, to thank you for um, all your work, all session, and for, um, you know, adapting us, <laughs> being with us in this new wild format and, and not shying away from the big work. Um, I really appreciate it. And I feel really grateful to be on this committee with all of you in charge. Great. Thank you, Colleen. Thank you. Yes, and, thank you. Great. Well, thank you all. And um, and I also want to thank Tom, my vice chair. We we are in touch a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. which, I really, which I really appreciate. Um, I think yesterday Tom said it really well that regardless of where we land on different bills. Um, and we've had some controversial bills. Tom has been able to uh, put that aside and, and help me the discussion and bring things forward, not uh, with enormous amount of respect. And, and so I, I, I really appreciate that. So. Thank you. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. There you are, Barbara. Um, if, if we have one more second before Barbara votes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and it was on my mind to say something, and I appreciate Selena for for breaking the ice on this, I guess. And uh, but um, first, I wanted to say something to Martin. And uh, um, the amount of work you do is incredible. Um, if if there is a definition for workhorse, it's you. Um, I. I I've been around for 10 years. I, there's people that have been around a lot longer than I have. I, I know that. But in the 10 years that I've been here, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people come and go. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I watch people. Um, and I got my eye on you. No. <laughs> um, but I, I've never seen anybody uh, put the time and effort uh, into, uh, uh, and, and, I, and I can only say it's a labor of love for you. And, uh, and I, I just want to commend you for that. I appreciate that, uh, Tom. Yeah, I really do. Um, it's good work. It's good work. And and I, you know, if if we're being nice to each other, which which of course we do here, um, uh, Tom, Tom and I have texted each other over the last couple of weeks uh, during where we've had some intense discussions and such, uh, just reminding each other uh, how much we appreciate each other. And and I've told Tom this as well that I really appreciate that he is pushing that position. It's it's what we're supposed to do. Uh, we don't want to all be on the same page on any of these things. And, and Tom definitely does a nice job of pushing it. 
And, and I really do appreciate that, Tom, and I appreciate your comments as well. Thanks. Thank you. And Maxine, uh, I can't leave you out because from day one, six years ago, um, you know, I came from a different committee and right off the bat, I was uh, uh, blown away by your inclusivity. Um, you, you want to hear from everybody. You ask people to, you know, to, uh, to share what they have going on or what they're thinking of things. And, and, and it's continued. It's continued for, for the six years I've been on this committee. And, uh, and, and with you bringing up our uh, um, communication, you know, over the last, you know, number of months, you know, being in the situation we're in, um, I, I don't look at it as it was me. I look at it was you reaching out um, uh, uh, to keep me, uh, you know, in the loop, included in, in what's going on the, in the committee, um, whether we we agreed or not. It didn't matter, um, uh, and 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 that's big because there there are some people in the building. Unfortunately, that matters to. Um, and, and they will, uh, you know, create animosities in their own mind, you know, with other people. And, uh, and, uh, and I attribute that not happening in our committee to you. And uh, in our committee over the last, you know, uh, three uh, uh, bienniums, you know, we've had a number of uh, different people in here. And, and I don't, I can't say that it's never happened with anybody, but for the most part, it hasn't happened. And, and, uh, and again, I attribute it to you. I certainly appreciate your work that you do. Um, and, and I think I've said this uh, uh, for the last three, two or three terms, whatever it would be that, you know, at the end of the year that I hope to be back. Um, first, I hope to be reelected. And then I hope to be back in House Judiciary for the next biennium. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Certainly appreciate that. I know when I when I hear about committees rolling their chairs and like, you know, pulling all these jokes and stuff and stuff, it's uh, oh my gosh. I don't know if some of you were around for, but the education committee. There are a few committees that have it's been tough, and I am so grateful that that we work together the way we do. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Barbara. Hi. So, Hi. so this to everyone being nice to each other. <laughs> Darn. Uh, no. Um, so I am voting yes on this um, vote. Great. Uh, Thank you. And I'm, yeah, I'm sure all the nice things that were said, I would vote yes on as well. And <laughs> Thank you, Maxine, for your patience with. Uh, no, absolutely. Take, take good care, Barbara. Thanks. I will be on and off the floor, probably, depending on, on uh, there's a lot of waiting. So. But okay. um, great. All right. Uh, see you all. And uh, I'm going to sign off. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much. Take care. You're in our thoughts, Barbara. Thanks. Prayers, Barbara. Thanks. Great. Okay. Uh, Kelly. You know. Just real quick, again, thank you very much for uh, being so welcoming. And I know we have to go, but I would be happy to help make phone calls for anybody on this committee for their um, for their uh, campaign, seeing as I will be free from that. But <laughs> I, I respect all of you, and you all bring something very unique to us. So I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Great. Thank you, Kelly. And actually, I, I was when I was talking to the speaker a while back about uh, coming back in January, what it's going to look like, whether it's going to be a hybrid or not. And um, one of the concerns is we're going to have a lot of new members coming into this uh, environment. And I suggested that she check with you because because you certainly can can say what it's like and what worked, what didn't work. And um, so so I encourage you to do that because there's a lot to think about. And, um, and Selena may be part, I don't know if if Selena is part of leadership, I don't know if you're part of that ongoing discussion or, or Tom, but. No, I'm not part of that. About, about which discussion, I'm sorry. About, about like how going back to the building and how we're gonna meet in January. Yeah, I haven't, we haven't talked about that recently and I've had to miss a couple leadership meetings to be here and in other meetings. So maybe they have talked about it more that I'm, and that I'm not aware of, but yeah, yeah I think it's evolving. Yeah, yeah. So Kelly, it's fun to work out. 
yeah, talk to the speaker. So, okay, great. Well, thank you for, um, I realize we need to get to the floor. Thank you, everybody. So Martin, you were, um, you're all set? All set, thank you. Yeah, could come up soon, soon, who knows, we'll see. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs>